There are many controversies and contradictions about the causes of lower back pain. With one fact for certain, the annual cost to our economy exceeds $16 billion. But when it's you, lower back pain not only affects you financially, but also affects the very quality of your life. And it's getting worse. Sedentary jobs, sports injuries, long distance driving, mental stress and tension. As a society, we are losing our abdominal and spinal muscle tone, creating less back support and more back injuries. So why is lower back pain such a complicated problem? And why is it so difficult to cure? Well, it all begins with the spine. The human spine consists of an intricate system of bones called vertebrae, separated by cushion-like discs, which act as unique shock absorbers. This construction enables the spinal column to move freely while acting as a mechanical support for the entire body. Gravity and body movements are forces acting on our spinal discs all the time and damaged discs are one of the main causes of lower back pain. A combination of therapies is often needed to restore function to a damaged back. Current treatments include medication, surgery, manipulation, and physical therapies, including electrical muscle stimulation, ultrasound, therapeutic stretching, and traction. Of course, traction is the old standard, but it has typically been uncomfortable, unpleasant, and often provided only temporary relief. Well, finally, there's an effective new lower back traction device that patients can actually enjoy using. It's called VertiTrack. Invented and developed by Professor Ludwig Stabholz in Israel, VertiTrack consists of two U-shaped padded frames which are strapped to the patient. The bottom frame is stationary and is positioned on the hips. The top frame sits just below the rib cage, and a simple leverage mechanism moves it upwards, providing a constant direct traction force to the spine of 50 to 100 pounds. The force can be adjusted on each side independently for patients with curvature of the spine. There's also a special mechanism that can apply simultaneous horizontal force to help make the traction more effective. The VertiTrack has been used successfully in cases with problems in the joints of the lower back, disc problems, leg pains, and arthritis of the lower back. How effective is VertiTrack? Well, after many thousands of treatments, the results have been phenomenal. And unlike other traction devices, there have been absolutely no complications. What's amazing to me is I get immediate relief. The moment I put it on, I feel great. The effects last much longer than any therapy I've tried before. I used VertiTrack last January for three weeks, and for the first time in years, my back has been fine without any further therapy. I've always dreaded coming in for traction. With this unit, I actually enjoy it. This new device is making more than just patients happy there are substantial advantages for doctors. This has been a definite revolution in traction therapy, and I personally have had wonderful results with VertiTrack. It's very simple to train the staff and patients in its proper use. Because it's so portable, we can easily move it from room to room and make better use of our facility. VertiTrack costs a lot less than other expensive traction devices. I save a lot of time because the patients can be mobile and relaxed during their treatment. It works very well in conjunction with my other low back therapies. It can also be used as a preventive therapy for those with a history of lower back pain or who are at high risk because of their job. The many thousands of chronic lower back pain patients who have used this simple device over the past couple of years insist it has given them more immediate and more lasting relief than any other therapy. So sufferers of chronic pain can now look forward, not back. I'm Jack Popejoy reporting from Los Angeles. Introducing the VertiTrack 2000, an innovative and unique ambulatory traction system for the treatment of lower back pain. The VertiTrack 2000 provides a most effective and consistent relief for sufferers regardless of their size. Before you introduce the VertiTrack 2000 to your patients, watch this step-by-step -step demonstration of the correct procedure for using the VertiTrack. Remember, the better you understand the VertiTrack 2000, the more your patients will benefit from it. Take it out of the bag and place it on a stable surface, resting on its top frame in the neutral position with the metal bars pointing upwards. The VertiTrack 2000 is made up of a pair of strong U-shaped flexible padded frames secured to the body by belts, which are buckled on the side of each frame and tightened by the belt ratchets. For smaller bodied or sensitive patients, soft pads can be placed under the ratchets and frames. 
The bottom frame has a curve in the center to align the power screw, which applies horizontal pressure. The top and bottom frames are connected by these two metal bars. The top frame is positioned by a jacking mechanism, activated by two elevating levers on each side of the bottom frame, which remains in a fixed position. Now it's time to fit the VertiTrack 2000 to your patient. First, make sure the padded parts touching the skin are clean. Stand behind the patient. Hold the VertiTrack 2000 in the neutral position with the metal bars pointing down. Place the bottom frame firmly on the patient's iliac crest. Ask the patient to hold the bottom frame of the VertiTrack 2000 with both hands while you tighten the belts. Facing the patient, hook the bottom belt into the buckle at the side of the bottom frame. Before tightening the bottom ratchet, it must be located in the center of the belt. To adjust the ratchet, pull the ratchet handle up to the 90 degree position. Lift the spring-loaded clutch in the handle to disengage the ratchet. Open the handle to 180 degrees. Slide the ratchet freely along the belt using a backward and forward motion until it's centered on the patient. Close the ratchet handle and tighten until the ratchet touches the patient's skin. Final tightening is by one click at a time until the ratchet is tight but comfortable on the patient. Fitting the top frame. If the patient is male, strap the top belt beneath the sternum. If the patient is female, strap the top belt under the brassier line. Hook the top belt into the buckle at the side of the frame and repeat the ratchet adjusting and tightening procedure exactly as for the bottom frame until the top belt is tight. If the VertiTrack 2000 is over-tightened, causing the patient severe discomfort, unhook the belts from the buckles and start the procedure again. The top frame is now elevated into position by pushing down on the levers on each side of the frame until some resistance is experienced. The VertiTrack 2000 is also designed to exert uneven differential traction when required. The skin above the top frame should be folded and between the top and bottom frames should be taut enough not to be caught by the fingers. The thrusting force for an average sized patient to achieve maximum effectiveness is between 20 and 40 kilos per side. The thrusting power indicators are located on each side of the metal bars and read in 10 kilo increments. A considerable amount of pain relief will be experienced by traction alone. However, horizontal force may be required. By pressing the quick release knob on the top of the horizontal bar, align the power screw pressure pad to the most commonly affected regions, L3, L4 and L5. Turning the power screw to the right will apply pressure to the longitudinal ligament. With the VertiTrack 2000 fitted, the patient should be encouraged to breathe in a relaxed and shallow manner, and for the best results, should walk around during treatment. After a few minutes, some additional traction can be applied. The duration of initial treatment may vary depending on patient tolerance, body structure and strength, severity of problems, age, and sex, etc. In most cases, the treatment should be applied daily for 25 to 30 minutes. However, each case should be assessed individually. Once the treatment is complete, remove the VertiTrack 2000 from the patient. Lower the top frame by lifting the releasing levers at the back of the bottom frame. Neutralize the horizontal power screw by pressing the releasing knob on the horizontal bar. Facing the patient, who should be holding the VertiTrack 2000, unhook the top belt from the side buckle, loosen the ratchet, and recenter it on the belt ready for reuse. Unhook the bottom belt from the buckle, loosen the ratchet, and reposition it to the center of the bottom belt. Stand behind the patient to remove the VertiTrack 2000. Neutralize the top frame to the zero position. Place the VertiTrack 2000 on a flat, stable surface ready for reuse. The VertiTrack 2000 is a precision instrument built from the finest materials and proper care will ensure it lasts for a long time. As an optional component of the VertiTrack Dynamic Traction System, the DBS offers safe, simple, compact, and effective treatment of idiopathic scoliosis. The DBS consists of the track rail, rail clamps, screw housing, rail pad, and pressure knob. Remove the horizontal screw assembly from the VertiTrack. 
Fasten the vertebrae tract to the body and begin applying vertical traction according to the instruction manual and the patient's needs. Apply traction until the user feels strong traction but little discomfort. Check to make sure that the pad screw component of the DBS unit is at the zero position. Attach the DBS unit to the vertitrack by opening the two jaw clamps and placing the open jaws on the vertical traction rods of the vertitrack. Allow the jaws to close firmly on the rods and apply a mild pulling force to check that it is securely positioned. Check the vertical positioning of the DBS unit. Make adjustments to the horizontal position of the rail pad according to the patient's conditions following these guidelines.